another Fed meeting, a big unch with a boilerplate statement. Let's get into some predictions. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Yes, the Fed had another meeting uh, the 1st of November 2023, and basically they bid had a big unch uh, unchanged uh, for the rate hike. A lot of people were predicting, not predicting, and I think it finally came out that some of the concerns, economy, kind of leveling off. They guess, I guess they said that some of the, high, the, the longer end uh, part of the bond of the bond curve is doing their job for them so they said they didn't need to do anything we'll see that in later on here in the charts but basically when probably some geopolitical issues probably melted into that as well looking at all the different factors so they decided to say unchanged you can see by this fed uh, fed funds rate interest rate you can see that we're starting to level off so getting to specific you can see here here's the rates there five and a quarter to five and a half so it's pretty much unchanged and with some hawkish statements as usual with tightening bias, um, but it, it basically a boilerplate statement, nothing dramatic to move the markets other than the fact that they were unchanged. Here you can take a look at the kind of the plateaus here. This is one chart here that kind of shows that we're starting to plateau here, and once they start plateauing, that generally means that a, a drop in rates is not far behind. Of course, here's the Q, QT, and they haven't tightened, what, about a trillion there now? But we've got a long way just to get back to the pandemic. I wouldn't be surprised if this starts to leveling out here soon. Uh, we'll see, but right for now it's continuing on the downside. We've got a long way to go if ever they get to wound down, wind down this uh, balance sheet. So there it is. So let's get into some predictions here. Here's our famous uh, FOMC dot plot uh, and rate expectations. Basically unchanged, and, and that, the red line indicates uh, what we've been saying here. We're thinking that they're going to, we're hitting a peak and uh, to, into the U.S. elections, it'll probably decline. And then after that, who knows? Of course, there's always a black swan event here. If we get into a global war, all bets are off or something else. So just keep that in mind uh, on these predictions. There's always, there's nothing is ever 100% sure. That's just a current thing. We've had that, we've held that thinking for quite a while here. Here's what we've said in the past, just to kind of come clean here. We originally made it a prediction that, you know, back at the November... 22nd midterms, 2022 midterms, we thought that was going to be the peak, and we're using the two years or bogey, and for the most part, that's kind of been true, it's peaked a little bit over that, and it's been, uh, maybe where we thought it would come off sooner, but evidently we've had now a 6 to 12 months delay in that, and so the timing is a bit off, but we're still kind of holding to this, holding on for dear life, will it pop through? Well, we're thinking that it'll eventually drop down just as that dot plot seem to indicate. So for the most part we're still in gear, we're just a bit off in the timing here. And uh, the two years pretty much are bogey here. Now what has happened is that the t the longer end has come up. And that has from this peak, which we you see the peak here was back in 2022 is uh, uh, up here, but it has moved past that. And we suspect that, that that long end will stay elevated relative to the two years so that prob probably is a bit gone farther kind of an eye opener there but we'll see where we go now keep in mind after the 2024 elections all bets are off inflation goes higher and maybe rates as well so, but that's a future thing we'll deal with that when it comes in any case take a look at the ai and see what the federal reserve mandates are um, it's more than just price stability and employment they obviously have other things they look at as well you can take a look at the ai on that and take our online poll have re rates peaked and we're rounding the top, ready to head down, at least for the near future. Don't forget to subscribe.